November 8th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, 1 John chapter 5 from the New Testament. Everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ has been fathered by God, and everyone who loves the Father loves the child fathered by him. By this we know that we love the children of God, whenever we love God and obey his commandments. For this is the love of God that we keep his commandments and his commandments do not weigh us down because everyone who has been fathered by God conquers the world. This is the conquering power that has conquered the world, our faith. Now who is the person who has conquered the world except the one who believes that Jesus is the son of God? Jesus Christ is the one who came by water and blood, not by the water only, but by the water and the blood. And the Spirit is the one who testifies, because the Spirit is the truth. For there are three that testify, the Spirit, and the water, and the blood, and these three are in agreement. If we accept the testimony of men, the testimony of God is greater, because this is the testimony of God that has been testified concerning his Son. The one who believes in the Son of God has the testimony in himself. The one who does not believe God has made him a liar because he has not believed in the testimony that God has testified concerning his son. And this is the testimony. God has given us eternal life and this life is in his son. The one who has the son has this eternal life. The one who does not have the son of God does not have this eternal life. I have written these things to you who believe in the name of the son of God so that you may know that you have eternal life. And this is the confidence that we have before him, that whenever we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us in regard to whatever we ask, then we know that we have the requests that we have asked from him. If anyone sees his fellow Christian committing a sin, not resulting in death, he should ask, and God will grant life to the person who commits a sin, not resulting in death. There is a sin resulting in death. I do not say that he should ask about that. All unrighteousness is sin, but there is sin not resulting in death. We know that everyone fathered by God does not sin, but God protects the one he has fathered and the evil one cannot touch him. We know that we are from God and the whole world lies in the power of the evil one. And we know that the Son of God has come and has given us insight to know him who is true. And we are in him who is true, in his son, Jesus Christ. This one is the true God and eternal life. Little children, guard yourselves from idols. God, we know that the sin resulting in death is unrepentant sin. And, and the realization that Jesus Christ is not your son, that he didn't die on the cross for our sins that we don't have that forgiveness, that we don't have freedom uh, from this life here on earth and that we don't have eternal life. We do know that that results in death. And I have friends and I have family members and I have people I don't know who are headed down that path. And it breaks my heart. God, I just pray for them today. I obviously don't want death for them, eternal death for them. And I know that the death of your son was for everyone, but not everyone will do what they need to to accept that gift. But God, I just pray for the people in my life and the people around the world that if they are your chosen, if they are the elect, that they hear the people around them who are talking about the good news that they can receive. That they can have life eternal with you. God, I ask that you just open their hearts and their minds in your timing. We know that you have already chosen them. It's our responsibility and our obedience and our joy to do what we have been told, which is to tell other people about you. I know a lot of people go, well, why should I do that if if there's already people who are chosen to be the elect. And we do that with a great sense of honor that you've asked us to be obedient in telling other people about you. Plus, I just like telling other people about you. 
you've done things in my life that truly are miracles. Without your forgiveness and your grace and your love, I would be so incredibly lost right now. Death would be welcoming. But I'm not. I have eternal life with you. I have forgiveness of my sins. I have your grace and your mercy and your love. And I just pray that for everyone else out there who doesn't have that yet, God. In your will, in your time, and in full accordance with the plan that you have for each and every one of us. I pray this from everything inside of me. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who did die on the cross and took on the sins of the world for our forgiveness. Amen.